guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting Rain to episode 22 of I Cut to One Parade. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Okay, we have a lot, and I mean a lot of stuff to talk about, but I'm going to wait until the end of the episode to talk about everything and how I feel about what's uh, coming soon. Makes sense. So then this would be a a four parter episode, maybe? Of course. I cut to on parade. <laughs> that makes the most sense. <laughs> it honestly does. I mean, what else would it be titled? Blue Bit of Sea, like so it'll try star freaking double M. All the freaking units that have been, you know, claimed <laughs> during this series. S4, M4, I mean, Luminous.
That's what I want to know. Isn't that the same concert venue where it is? Oh my god. <laughs> I need both old and new versions of S word like to just mm, be so good. That's me as a game for you. Honestly, it is. Yeah, but you did it though. All on your own. You'll get it done.
better than nothing. Please let Ichigo and Akari Jean perform together too. I, I need this. We all need this. It doesn't have to be in this first episode because I already know who's going to perform, but in these next episodes coming up. Playing the masquerade song, oh my god. Oh my god, my heart. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 
I just only have these three, huh? <laughs> I think you and Nika finally had speaking voices just for a little bit. So then what are you guys going to perform? The Tri- Not the Tri-Star. Um, the Soleil song? Yeah, because you're on that stage, it would make the most sense. <laughs> Song. You just remember and I cut two stars when they were in the episode and Luminous didn't have a song, but they did. It was nice so. <laughs>
God, you mom. Thank you, God. Mm -hmm. My hero. Let her perform by herself, please. Because, you know, Mahiru got the best damn song in the series of, like, Katsu Star is, like, oh my god. But I think what they're going to just do for um, the next episode, they're going to have just that S4 performance. As much as you kind of want to see some of these girls do some songs by themselves, I don't necessarily think they have the time. This is a three-day event, which could be a three to four episode Parter, maybe I'm not 100 percent sure, but it seems like it's just going to be a three parter episode instead of like a four parter episode. But we have like is this 19, 20, 20, 24, we got three more episodes left, so they could end up making 20, 22, no, this is 22, 23 and 24 the next two episodes, and then 25 could be something that brings all the girls together, essentially leading into that which is what we're going to talk about in a couple of minutes but this episode was really good for what it was it, it seems like the finale in a way but at the same time it's far from it it's just the beginning of the show and so many good things about it and the fact that rocky did this event started this event came up with the damn idea for this event by herself to say something about her and the things that she can do on her own yeah, it was a little hard to find a venue, but she was able to do it no matter what, you know? Okay, so now the thing is, because it seems like both the previous generation, the um, the past three, well, no, two, because we necessarily didn't really get to see the newer generation, the 20, I want to say the 26th generation. So 20, 25, and 24, they might perform, but we may not see 26. Okay, so now let's go ahead and talk about the elephant in the room, which is I Cut Sue on Parade Season 2, which was the big surprise on Sunday. I'm still surprised about it. I'm still happy that this show is getting a second season, but I am a little disappointed on one thing. So the fact is, it is not going to be airing on Japanese television. It is going to be a web series. So this could be one of two things. It's going to be on the Aikatsu um, YouTube channel and everything. Um, they already have something coming along later on in the year when fall comes, and I'm, I'm really excited for whatever the heck that could be. That could be another sequel to... Um, Aikatsu and it's entirely finding following a different girl besides Rocky. I feel like this next season of Rocky of not Rocky of Aikatsu on Parade is not only gonna follow Rocky, it did say it's gonna follow Novel uh, Noel from Dream Academy. But I feel like what they're going to do is do another Aikatsu on Parade um that's gonna follow someone for four star and then so on and so forth. And then whatever is coming in the fall is possibly gonna be something continuing the Aikatsu series, but it could be something new as well. Um, but like I said, my little problem with it is the fact is it's going to be a web series. So it's possibly 50 out of 50, not going to be a 24 minute episode. It could be a, a 13 minute episode, a 15 minute episode, 
I don't think it could be a three or five minute. I'm glad that it's focusing on Seta Sister because um, going back to a long, long time ago <laughs> in 2013, but yeah, 2013, um, at the end of 2012, going on 2013, when... Uh, I cut to season one ended and we found like I was thinking this show wasn't gonna cut it was gonna take a while for season two to come out and it came out like a week after when the show ended um and we were focusing on dream academy and everything and learning about the new girls and seeing noelle and seta and stuff I was always wondering so many questions about noelle I thought noelle would have had an episode or several episodes to see her become an idol but then they kind of took it away and focused on Akari-chan when Akari-chan came in the one episode saying that she was in love with Ichigo and loved the way she gave out smiles and that was the reason why she became an idol and then how season three and season four was about Akari-chan and her friends this is season two is what Noelle should have gotten for the second season that I cut to going into season three and season four of OG I cut to. And I am glad that they're finally doing that because the girls of um, Dream Academy, honestly, in my opinion, still didn't get as much focus as they got during that second season of my cut to because they really relatively were going um, more on the focus of Ichigo and Seta and how very similar yet different they were and how passionate with they were. I do still love the fact that I think the girls of Dream Star Academy, excluding Noelle, because of course no Noelle is the main character of this show, um, going into season two and same thing with Rocky, I still feel like they're going to give the rest of these girls, which is uh, Maria, um, Sora, Seta, and I don't remember the other girl's name with the blonde hair. I, like it's coming to me, but I just can't remember it right now. They're going to be more of, like, the teachers, the senseis, um, the senpais of the second season. Just guiding Noel as they all were guiding Rocky for these 25 episodes. And they're going to do the same thing for her. But they're still also going to be guiding Rocky at the same time. So, it's, I'm not mad at it. I just, I kind of hate the fact that it's going to be a web series. And, like I said, the biggest niche is it could be about 14 to 15 minutes long. We're not really going to know until March 28th when the first episode is aired. So probably that day, um, we could possibly see maybe a couple of hours or even the following day a sub out quicker instead of it being like it's um, almost like, well, for me, sometimes it could be like three or four days, possibly a week later. It just depends on the people who are subtitling the show. But I think because because. The Pretty Cure website, um, no, the Pretty Cure YouTube page did the same thing with the first episode of um, Healing Good Pretty Cure. They had it on the YouTube channel, and they were able to do the subtitles and everything for that for quick. By the time it was like midnight, they had the subs out for it. I don't know if they'll be able to do the same thing with I Got to One Parade Season 2, but it's the one thing that I think a lot of people were hoping for. If it's if the episodes are twenty four episodes, it's twenty four episodes. If it's three to five minutes, it's um, I mean not twenty four episodes. If the episodes are twenty four minutes, it's twenty four minutes. If the episodes are three to five minutes, it's three to five minutes. If it's fifteen minutes, it's fifteen minutes. Whatever it is, I think everybody is going to enjoy it for what it is. But the biggest thing is we're all kind of now wondering is what is this um this other thing that we're getting in the fall. I don't think they'll probably have any information on that until maybe midsummer, or because they'll probably announce it on the YouTube channel plus the Twitter and everything. So it could, like I said, it could be something I cut to base. It probably is because of the fact is they've also announced it on the, you know, not only the I cut to channel, but on the I cut to Twitter page. But it could be something completely different. Honestly, we won't know. I think the biggest thing that I would probably want to see for this universe now is a movie with all these girls in it. I get the fact is it's a lot of voice actors and a lot, um, a lot of sayings and stuff like that. And you gotta, you, you know, bring everybody back. I mean, this was the biggest thing that they were doing for this show was this series to have everyone. And I think when when this show got announced, I was excited for it so much. But then at the same time, I was a little worried because what if um, some of these stays are a little too expensive now to bring them back? And I don't think they are, but you got to like, if you go back and watch 
I cut to one parade from episode one to episode 25 and maybe sit there and count to see how many voice actors or are the characters of these voice actors had a voice. I would say for maybe Kaede and Yurika, it's not as much maybe the same thing for Momoka and Rin. It's so many girls who, you know, when they were on their show by themselves and they had their, you know, time to shine, they had a bunch. But because of the fact is there's over, I want to say maybe 60, 60 to 90. It's a lot of freaking idols in this show. And not everybody's going to have like that time to just speak. And so I get that. You got to pay some of these uh, these voice actors some moolah just to get on this show and to have the time to maybe just say one to two lines and then go on their merry way. I mean, I know because I've seen it with even video games. Sometimes you can't hire um, the actual VAs who voice them in the movies or something like that. So you have to get someone... Um, who sounds very similar to them. I don't think they did that with this show, but you got to kind of think about it in a different perspective because Aikatsu was still popular just as much as Pretty Care as Pretty Pata and stuff. Think about the stuff that Pretty Pata has to do with some of their VAs. Same thing with Pretty Care, especially with um, with Star Twinkle Pretty Care going on to Healing Good Pretty Care because of the fact is they have to hire um, voice actors for not only the villains of the week, not only these, um, the cute little chibi characters that they have to save and such, anyone really, especially if it's a lot of people and think about the production and everything that they have to do. Sometimes the quality of the animation isn't as top tier as it was when it was on its second season or it was on it was it, its second series or something like that. You never really truly know. But yeah, that's my little rant. I am glad that this show is getting a second season. I still can't wait to see what in the world we're getting in the fall but we're not gonna know until then but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode 22 of i got to one parade if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys on monday i was a little busy this week to film and stuff but you'll see me on monday for episode 23 bye guys